Assalamu alaikum dear students you know in previous lecture we discussed uh, derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions and exponent in this uh, implicit functions now today we are going to discuss exponential and logarithmic functions now if we consider a function y1 equals to which is denoted by you know that y is simply denoted by f of x equals to x y2 is another function that is f2x is x square y3 is f3x uh, which is denoted by x cube so both are the polynomial functions x x square x cube now when we draw the graph of uh, these three functions it is here it is x x is minus uh, minus uh, the domain and this is y axis minus the range or the codomain of these functions now here it is x1 y1 equals to x this is a graph of this y1 that is first function similarly if we consider this uh, f2x equals to x square it is graph is this here if we consider f3x equals to x cube it is graph is y3 equals to x cube like this now at x equals to 1 the value of all these three functions is 1 <coughs> here the first function degree is 1 in second its degree is 2 and for th uh, third function its degree is 3 now when we increase the degree that is uh, in first function a degree is 1 in second a degree is 2 so this means that when we increase the degree this graph became more steeper more steeper means it is slope at any point that is the tangent the slope of the tangent at any point becomes you know more or increases this means that the growth of the polynomial depends upon the degree of the polynomial so this means that whenever a degree increases this means that the graph becomes more steeper and steeper as degree of polynomial increases it is graph becomes more steeper because here for this function degree is 1 so here the uh, slope for any tangent at this point at any point is 45 degree uh, similarly if we consider x square if we draw a tangent at any point here the slope became is more than 45 degree so this means that when degree increases city uh, steepness increases now question arises does there exist a say, you know any function other than these polynomial functions which grows more rapidly than these functions because polynomial uh, grows more rapidly on the basis of their degrees that is if we have a polynomial whose degree is less than the another polynomial then the polynomial whose degree is more is more steeper or the graph is more steeper than you know the polynomial whose degree is less like as you uh, Now let me consider a function y equals to 10 to the power x 10 to the power x here if we draw the uh, if we tabulate you know the values that is here this is the x axis this is y axis mean the range point now at 0 the value of this function is 1 at 1 value is 10 at x equals to 2 value is 10 to the power 2 that is 100 at x equals to 3 this means that when we put x equals to 3 in this it becomes 10 to the power 3 that is 1000 similarly if we consider x4 it is y equals to 10000 but if we consider a polynomial whose degree is 100 like uh, y100 equals to f100 of x is x to the power 100 because this is a polynomial its degree is 100 now we will you know check the value or we will find the value at these points at 0 at 1 at 2 at 3 at at 4 now at x equals to 100 value is at x to the power 1000 in this function if we put it is y to the power 1000 and in this function y to the power uh, this x to the power 100 that means in polynomial y to the power 100 is 1000 raised to power 100 that is simply 
10 to the power 300 10 to the power 300 so this means that at this point at x equals to 1000 this function y equals to 10 to the power x its value is much greater than you know the value of uh, this function that is this polynomial whose degree is 100 at x equals to 1000 similarly we can prove at higher values of x y grows more rapidly than y to the power 100 that is this means that at any point the value of this function and the value of this function is uh, grows more rapidly or it is more than you know the value of this polynomial whose degree is 100 in general if we consider you know x to the power n that is polynomial for any n this polynomial this function that is y equals to 10 to the power x this grows more rapidly as compared to this polynomial as compared to this polynomial whose degree is n such function which grows more rapidly than the polynomial function it is simply called as the exponential function it is called as exponential function the exponential function here this 10 10 this is called as the base this is called as the base so we can define you know in general the exponential function as the exponential function with b as base here b should be greater than 1 is defined by f of x equals to b to the power x so simply we can say that if we have the function defined by b raised power x where b is greater than x here this condition that b greater than x is important because if we consider you know the point or if we consider the value or b which is less than one then it will not grow more rapidly than polynomial that is x to the power n because the main reason for the origin of these function is to find or is to answer the question that is which function or the functions grow more rapidly than the polynomial function because polynomials uh, in general you know grows on the basis of their degrees that is whenever degree of a polynomial is more this means that it grows more rapidly as compared to another polynomial whose degree is less but if we consider here b to be less than one then it will not answer to question to that question that is which function grows more rapidly than the polynomial function other than the polynomial function so simply we can say that this b is should be greater than one then the function defined by b to the power x is called as the polynomial function here this b to the power x because b is greater than one when we put x equals to r here that is x equals to x from the real numbers this is defined for each and every number real number so this means that the domain for the exponential function is whole set r whole set r here reason for this is if we have x equals to zero then b to the power zero is one if we consider x zero x greater than zero then b to the power x is always positive number if x is like negative b to the power x is always positive because b to the power minus x is simply as 1 upon b to the power x which is greater than 0 so this means that the range, range of these exponential functions is not 0 and it is greater than 0 and as x to the power infinity if we let x to the x equals to infinity that is b to the power minus infinity is simply 0 so this means that at end point that is at negative infinity its value is 0 so, but this minus infinity is not in the real set so this means that it is domain is open from zero open from this uh, range is open from zero and if we have infinity it is b to the power infinity which is again infinity so in this way we can say that its domain is set or while as its range is close this open set zero infinity or simply the set of positive numbers positive non-zero numbers now clearly at this point x equals to 0 it is domain is or at x equals to 0 y is 1 at x to the power infinity it is infinity so this means that it's approaching from this side towards infinity and at 0 when we consider 0 it tends to at uh, minus infinity it approaches to 0 so this means that it is graph is like this so clearly from the graph 
this curve never touches the x axis so this means that it has no zeros in a set r in set or because its graph never touches the x axis now if we have we will discuss you know the spatial case if b equals to 10 b equals to 10 then the function defined by 10 to the power x which is called exponential function it is called as the common exponential function this is called as the common exponential function now if b is e where e is a rational number whose value lies between 2 and 3 whose value lies uh, lies between 2 and 3 then f of x is defined by e to the power x it is called as the exponential function because b is you know it's uh, b is here e this exponential function is called as the natural exponential function natural exponential function now if b is 2 suppose then 2 to the power x is also exponential function it is called as the exponential function with base 2 so simply when b is 10 it is called as the common exponential function if b is e it is called as the natural exponential function now if we consider b to any number if we consider b equals to any uh, number not equals to 10 and e that is simply called as the exponential function with ba base equals to that value of b now if we consider you know this function from r to r then clearly it is not on to it is not on to because here negative numbers are not you know the image pointers so we will restrict its codomain that is if we consider you know the codomain uh, codomain simply this zero infinity that is open interval this zero infinity then clearly this function that is f from r positive where r positive is this open interval zero infinity defined by b of x b to the power x where b greater than one it is on to function as well as one one function because uh, for one one let x one x two belongs to or then such that f of x one equals to f of x two which implies that b raised to power x one equals to b raised to power x two or x one equals to x two because b is here greater than one similarly if we have this for on to let y belongs to this r positive and suppose f is on to which implies that there exists x such that f of x equals to y but f of x is de de here defined by b to the power x that is y here y belongs to 0 infinity because here b is greater than 1 x is here belongs to or it is always positive so in this way we can say that this is 1 1 1 as well as on to hence this exponential function that is b to the power x is always bijective function when it is bijective function it is inverse exists so inshallah in tomorrow's video lecture we will discuss its inverse which is actually you know the logarithmic function so logarithmic function is nothing but it is you know the inverse of exponential function and exponential function is that function which grows more rapidly than the polynomial function because the polynomial functions grows uh, because the growth of polynomial function depends upon the degree greater the degree greater is the steep, uh, steepness or simply we can say that if a degree increases the slope of a tangent increases so thank you